Hello, welcome back to another episode of RSE Inside. Today we've got a brand new rad drive, so let's get into it. So straight away in the top of the box, you've got all of the components that you need for the rad drive nicely laid out. Uh, ready to go into your boat. Uh, the nice thing about this is this lifts out so this can become what you work out of uh, whilst you're able to still take the drive out. So everything is still in its place. Let's have a little closer look. So starting off on the left here, we've got all of the rad cables. Uh, this is specific to our boat. However, I'm sure that it's essentially the same number of cables for everybody. Uh, this lets us connect everything up inside of the console and then we've got one longer cable here which is going from the console back to the rad drive at the back of the boat. We've got the power. Uh, this is power in for steering as well as this cable is power in for the rad bus. So these come with little connectors on the end for both of these. Um, and of course, your rad tags. These work as a conventional kill cord, but also as the key to the boat. Uh, the next item is the rad tag base. That's what these connect onto. Um, and whilst it's not even plugged in, you can still see the magnet there working. It's pretty secure, but as soon as you fall off of the boat, it's able to come off. So that's really cool. Uh, we've got three different boxes in here. These do all of the communications with uh, rad bus. So, We've got RAD battery gateway there, nice label on the side of it. So this one takes all of the information from your battery and is able to display up onto the screen what state of charge that you're at, uh, the temperatures, uh, any warnings that you need to know. It also works with uh, throttling, so if the battery is getting too low, then you don't discharge, over discharge the battery. The NEMA box that we've got here, it's how you get all of your GPS information. You're, you're able to get uh, transducers over, NEMA 2000, so again, this is a connection, it's called a NEMA bridge, uh, works between uh, the RAD bus, which is all of the pink cables, and uh, the rest of the systems on your boat. And then the final one is the steering box. It's got the blue connectors down at the bottom here. These connect into your steering wheel and the pink connectors go into the rad bus. Um, and they've all got their own little homes there, which is nice. I've missed the gasket. They all come with nice little gaskets as well. So that's the gasket for the rad tag base. Steering wheel with a rad logo on it, quite cool. Um, nice rubber grip to it. And then at the end, with its gasket as well, you've got the throttle. Again, easy connectors on the back side, uh, one male, one female, so that you can't get it the wrong way around. Uh, just screw those in, bolt it onto the side of your console. It's got a neutral lock on it. Uh, pull out to the side to let the neutral lock out. You go into forwards, locks back into neutral lock out again into reverse. Very nice feeling throttle, good bit of resistance to it. And in the corner, the final thing that we've got is all of the fixings. Uh, nicely labeled up in individual bags. Transom fixings for the motor, so you've got big high tensile M12 bolts. Throttle mounting and tag reader mounting. So tag reader I showed you before, little bolts to mount that in and throttle, little M6s to mount the throttle in too. Anyway, that's all the small stuff. Let's get into the exciting bit. So this cardboard box on the outside comes off really easily. There's a pop handle on either side here. Uh, I'm going to get my glamorous assistant Josh to give me a hand with the other side. There we go. So the cables here are nicely cable tied so that they don't get damaged, so we're just going to cut these off. Tend to just stick these over the back of the motor so that they don't get damaged but they're out of the way. This piece of cardboard is quite a snug fit. It lifts off like so. It means that you can see the bottom part of the drive here. Nice cardboard strap. So now we've got this box off. It reveals two more boxes down here which we can stick up next to the other components. These are steering items, but we'll take a look at those in a second. So we've got a specially designed prop here for an electric drive that's connected onto the gearbox. The cool thing about this gearbox, you can see that it's completely separate here. So this turns 180 degrees, means that you get 90 degrees in each direction, means that you can turn around on the spot. All of the cooling in the drive happens through the drive itself, so it doesn't take any salt water into the boat, which is a great feature. 
uh, means that it really reduces the amount of maintenance that you need to do. There's, in terms of maintenance, there's only two anodes. There's one here and one here. Very easy to get to, very easy to replace. Cables obviously come out of the front of the drive. These are what go into the boat itself. And then you've got the viewport window. This is mildly opaque, dark tinted plastic on the back and you get an LED strip around here. The mounting system is the same as any other normal outboard, so you'll be able to get it through the same conventional holes, and it's got trim rams so that you're able to trim up and down just like normal. Right, so the final two boxes in the unboxing video. So this is what you connect your steering wheel onto. This sits on the front of your console. It's adjustable, so you can see that you've got this lever here for adjustment. That means that you're able to change the angle of this. Obviously, your steering wheel sits on there like that. This other box is what sits inside of the console. It straps onto the back of the Ultraflex helm unit that your steering wheel goes onto. And this is the thing that actually understands where you're steering. Two cables coming out of it. That's what I was talking about with this box over here. So this box, these connectors go into these blue connections on that box there. Um, it just bolts onto the Ultraflex unit and has this shaft which senses where you're steering. Right, so that's it for the unboxing. We've looked at everything. Uh, this drive is actually destined to go onto this white hull behind us. We'll get the team cracking with that, getting all of this strapped onto that boat. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of RSC Inside and uh, see you again soon.